Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by webvidtouch.com. This is video 14 in the HTML training series and in this video we will be learning how to put tables on our web pages. So let's just go ahead and begin by making our standard HTML document right here with your HTML tags, add tags, title tag, and body tag. Now what a, what, um, what a table is on a web page is that well, you know, you go into Microsoft Excel or any other spreadsheet application. They'll have a bunch of columns and rows that you can use to store your all of your uh, data in. Well, that's basically what a table is. It's just more of a smaller version on a web page. Although you can make it big, you can have it two rows, one column. Um, you can make it as many columns as you want, basically. It just matters uh, what kind of data you're gonna put in, how many rows and columns you'll put in it. Um, let me just show you what a uh, table looks like in HTML. It's like this. What you'll have is your two rows right here and then you'll have your two columns per row which I defined inside the code. Not this code right here. This is our, this is a pre-built web page right here. And as you can see this is row one column one right here, row one column two right here, row two column one, and row two column two. Just mo just like in um, Excel, except I believe they use letters instead of numbers sometimes. So let's just go ahead and start making a table. To start making a table, you go ahead and put the table tag down right there. Let's go ahead and skip a few lines and put an ending table tag right there. Now to first um, start to put some data into the table, you have to make your rows. So let's go ahead and make one row. The row tag is called TR. And then let's go ahead and a couple lines and make an ending TR tag. And in between the TR tags, you always, always, always have to make at least one column right here. There's a col uh, the column tag is TD. You have to make an opening and then a closing column tag. And now in between the column tag, you can finally start um, inputting your data or information. Like this is some, let's put example text, even though I spelled it completely wrong. If you go right here and run it, it'll make your table. But wait, the table's not showing up. That's because you did not, we didn't put a border around it. So it's just holding data right now, nothing special. So if you go ahead and make a border right here, it will actually put a border around the data. Now let's say I want to put another column in this row. All you do is go ahead and put some more column tags right there. And this is some more example text number two. So now this row has two columns now. And let's say we want another row. Well, we're heading another row. Let's put some more row tags down. Let's make some more. We have to make two columns since we made two columns up here. So let's go ahead and make two columns. If you'll make two columns, then the table will. It'll work, but it'll be messed up looking. Although there's one piece of code that you can do to make one table spread across the whole the whole row but we'll find that out in a later video and this is example the no, row 2 column 1 will go example text row 2 number 1 and then right between this column we'll put example text row 2 number 2 and then let's go ahead and launch this and as you can see we have another row and two more columns. And the columns will actually stretch to whatever the longest uh, data it has. Like, it will expand this far because this is the longest text. And it will expand this far because it, this right here is the longest text. And that's how much it, room it needs to fit all that text in that column. Or cell, actually. And that is how you make a table. If you go ahead right here, <coughs> excuse me, you can go ahead and make how however big the border you want the table. So it's getting a little bit bigger. And if we put like four, it'll get even a little bit bigger. See, it's getting pretty big now. But usually I just 
unless I'm uh, putting data in there, I just usually put no border in there, like this. Which making a web page like this is a great way to actually sort your page out. Like if you want some text right here, you can make a few more columns. You can put some text right there, and you can actually use this for your layout. But we will later and we will find out there that there is a better way to lay out your web pages than use a table. But that's for a much more, much more later video. Um, that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot about how to make tables. Go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel, and go ahead and register as a member on our site at webvidtouch.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.